Welcome. Today I'm going to lead us in a session of prayer that allows us to really closely read part of the Bible, in this case a psalm, and allows God to speak to us through that reading. We're going to specifically use a practice called florilegium. So before we dive in, let me explain what that means. So the word florilegium is Latin and it its meaning is in two parts. So the first part means flower and the second part means to gather. So literally the word florilegium together means to gather the flowers. This is a ancient practice that dates as early as the fifth century. And it's a practice of reading scripture and taking words or phrases or verses that resonate and jump out at us and collecting them, i.e. writing them down in a separate place. And it's the idea is that once you've collected these words and these phrases together, you'll have a new text and that this text will have meaning and beauty and poetry all of its own and that God can speak to us through that. So normally this practice isn't done just once with one psalm and phrases that collected up just from that. It's more done over a long period of time. So people would have whole notebooks that they would fill with Every day they would read the Psalms and write down new verses or new words that stuck out to them. And over time they'd have a whole new book full of things that had really resonated with them over the course of that year. Or sometimes people might go through scripture looking for things specifically with the word love in, or things that resonated to them about the, the theme of love. And then they'd have this whole new text full of Bible verses and of scripture all about love. There are lots of different ways of doing this practice and today I'm just going to show us one really simple intro entry level way of engaging with it. So before we get stuck into reading the psalm I thought we could um, use Pete Gregg's P-R-A-Y. So Many of us will have been doing the prayer course and so we'll instantly know what this means. But for those who don't, it's a four step way of engaging in prayer. And it starts off with P, pause, R, rejoice, A, ask, and Y, yield. So today I'm going to, our time spent with the scripture is going to be our time listening to God, our time asking, in this case, for him to speak. And our why is going to be in response to that at the end. So before we dive into the text, I'm going to start off with the P and the R. So first, let's pause. This is really simple. For me, all this really involves is concentrating on my breath, becoming aware of the present moment, trying to allow kind of worries and concerns about my day to become less important and just to focus on the now. And I do this by just focusing on my own breath. It really roots me in the physical moment. So I'm going to invite you to just do that with me. So just inhale. And exhale. And as you inhale, just focus on what that feels like, on the sensations as you're taking in the air up through your nose or in your mouth. And as you exhale, just feel what that feels like in your abdomen, how it feels to expel air. Should do this, allow it to just calm your body. If 
feel where you're tensing. Just gently allow it to relax. Take as long in this time as you need. I'm gonna move on in a sec, but if you need to pause the video and sit here for a while, that's fine. If you have another way of pausing that suits you better than concentrating on your breath, be my guest. This is just about focusing on the present. Not thinking about what's happened in the day or what's gonna happen, not the past, not the future, not worries, not excitements, just the now. And then we can move on to our rejoicing. For me, this is always something I find easiest to do with some worship music. So I'm gonna just give you five minutes now to go away, find a uh, worship song you love on Spotify or YouTube and to just have a really good time of praising God. Before I read the psalm, I'm just gonna invite the Holy Spirit in so that, um, yeah, the Holy Spirit's just really with us as we're listening to the psalm and as we're um, looking out for those verses and praises that um, sparkle to us. So let me do that now. Holy Spirit, just um, be with each of us wherever we are. Fill our rooms, our houses, our gardens, park bench we're sat on. Just fill us in the space we're in with your presence. Give us the gift of discernment, that we can see what you're leading us to, see which bits you're highlighting to us, and just really hear from you clearly. We want to hear from you. We want to know what you're saying to us. We want to know your heart, God. So help us to do that now. Amen. So now we've all had time to spend some time in worship, we're going to read the psalm together. First, I'm just going to read it out loud and then I'll talk you through what to do next. So today we are going to be reading Psalm 21, which is for me the psalm of today. I don't know when you're watching this, it'll probably be a different psalm of the day for Trinity by then, but we're going to read Psalm 21 together. The king rejoices in your strength, Lord. How great is his joy in the victories you give. You have granted him his heart's desire and have not withheld the request of his lips. You came to greet him with rich blessings and placed a crown of pure gold on his head. He asked you for life and you gave it to him. Length of days forever and ever. Through the victories you gave, his glory is great. You have bestowed on him splendour and majesty. Surely you have granted him unending blessings and made him glad with the joy of your presence. For the king trusts in the Lord. Through the unfailing love of the Most High, he will not be shaken. Your hand will lay hold on all your enemies. Your right hand will seize your foes. When you appear for battle, you will burn them up as in a blazing furnace. The Lord will swallow them up in his wrath, and his fire will consume them. You will destroy the descendants from the earth, their posterity from mankind. Though they plot evil against you and devise wicked schemes, they cannot succeed. 
You will make them turn their backs when you aim at them with, with drawn bow. Be exalted in your strength, Lord. We will sing your praise and might. <clears throat> okay, so we've read through the psalm once. Now what we do is I'm just going to give us some time to read through the psalm again at our own pace and just see what verses pop out at us. What, um, it doesn't even have to be a verse. What words or what phrases just stick with us. And what all I want you to do is just grab a pen and some paper. It can be in your journal or it can just be um, a scrap, you know, a plain piece of paper. Um, and just as you get a um, word or a phrase, just jot it down anywhere on the page. It doesn't have to be kind of in order. It can just be dotted about. You just pause the video and press play again when you're done. Okay, so now you've started to collect your phrases or hopefully you've collected up a few. Um, we're just going to sort of start to play with them. Again, asking God to point things out in them as they kind of sit with each other. You might want to kind of swap the order, try saying them to yourself. One first, then the other. If you've got a few, kind of try mixing them up in that way. You might want to, at this point, edit down. You might want to reject some, focus in on just one or two. You might want, you might like, immediately you've found you've written a new poem and you love it. But for me, sometimes this part requires a little bit of playing with them to kind of find something I like, something I feel that God's kind of speaking to me through, something that feels apt. Um, so that's what we're going to do for a few minutes. Again, just pause and spend some time doing that. Obviously, I don't know what you've written. And so I'm just going to sort of illustrate how God might speak to you through these by talking you through what I've got. So... Um, this psalm is written mostly in the third person. So I've got, um, what I've got is kind of almost a scene that I can kind of imagine happening between two other people. So it's, I'll just read it. You came to greet him and he asked you for life and you gave it to him. Now, I don't know what that means to you. Um, but for me, I feel um, this just promise in it from God. I feel like God's reminding me that um, he gives good gifts and he gives according to what we ask for. Um, I just, as I see kind of God reminding me that um, the king in this psalm came and asked for life and he gave it to him. I'm just reminded that um, he'll give me good gifts too. And I love the fact that it starts with you came to greet him. That being God came up, comes to us. He comes to us to, to hear our requests. He comes close to listen to what we want. Um, yeah, I just really feel like I've found in this practice, um, I just feel God's really reminding me that he comes close to listen to what I want to ask for. He wants to hear what gifts I want him to give me. So that's what I've heard. I'm so excited for you to hear from God as well. So if you, if you need to, again, just pause the video and take a bit more time with the Holy Spirit. Really dwell with these phrases that you've written, these new little poems that have come out of this process and just sit and see what God speaks to you about. So 
So now that we've um, we've listened and we've let bits of the text stand out to us, we've written them down, then we've um, prayerfully um, played with them until we have a new text that we feel speaks to us. And we've invited God to speak to us through that text and hopefully we've heard from God. We're going to do the last step in the P-R-A-Y. And that is we're going to yield. So I'm just going to invite you into a time of just saying yes to whatever it is God has invited you to. Um, I don't know what that looks like for you, but for me, it looks like it's going to be saying yes to being more honest with him about what gifts I am seeking. So again, if you want to just pause the video spend some time saying yes to God. Great, I hope you've all had a really great prayer session. I'm just gonna um, wrap up by just praying for us all and then um, have a great day. God, thank you for everyone who's just been um, praying here with me today. It's been enjoying this new way of, um, of interacting with your scripture and of hearing from you. I just pray that what they've heard from you would not come back empty, but that it would, your words would really find something in their hearts and really change something in them. I pray for for real um, joy and um, just a real sense that how of how loved each person is. Amen. So enjoy. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this new spiritual practice. Um, just a quick caveat that it is, you know, it's a way to hear from God. It's not um, recommended as a way of interpreting the Bible, this way of chopping up <laughs> bits of verses and stuff. It's it's more something to do um, with the Holy Spirit to, to kind of inspire you to hear from God in a different way. So, yeah, now having said that caveat, go forth, enjoy. I would love to hear all your florilegia once you've gotten the hang of it. See all your new notebooks full of different little poems and collections of flowers. So feel free to post these poems to the prayer wall or what you feel like God's spoken to you through them. We'd love to hear it all. Enjoy. Have a great day. Bye.